you can see the holes in these bellows, the old bellows, torn completely along that side there. Lots of pinprick holes and larger size holes in there. The first thing we've got to do is clean up the mess that's on here now. We'll take this piece of wire out, out of the front of the bellows. That's one staple. Now we'll take the wire out. It's got him. Put him aside. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll put two marks where the holes are just in case we put our bellows paper a bit higher and we can't see them we need to know where they are we've also got this little loop on the corner to take out I'll, I'll just rotate that and that'll come out get a good grip on it that's got it out it comes now we can see what we've got to do here we have to clean all that glue off there where the top was stuck on the, the pipe I'll put a mark up there and then we'll start removing the old bellows paper slice it off with a with a razor blade and across the front Certainly pretty old and dry. Slide down there. The razor blade. Round the corner. On the other side. Coming off pretty well. And take that off. A little bit of a hinge on the back. Bit there. Do it more. That's got him. That way, don't they? Put a mark on each of those. So I know which direction they go back in. We're going to sit like that, clean that up with some 600 mesh paper in a moment. But in the meantime, we'll get rid of the old paper that's still on here. Clean that up with a razor blade. Put it down the sides. Clean that off. On the end, comes off quite easily. A little bit there, and down there, and down there. Right, that's almost got all the, the old paper off. Right, we'll now run over both these pieces of the bellows top with some 600 mesh paper on a flat stick so we can remove any remaining paper or glue that's still on there and smooth it off nicely. Round to the other side. And across there. Take any sharp edges off. Back with the 600 grit paper. Running over each surface of the bellows. Making sure they're all nice and flat and level. 
and the paper the glue has all been removed a little bit there just to, on each edge to smooth it over so we've got no sharp edges to catch on the paper when we put it on the smoother it is the longer it's, the paper is going to last on the bellows now we'll get rid of this glue and put a serious big chunk of glue on that and they glued it onto the top of the the pipe that is seriously a scraper off might be a more efficient way to do it than trying to cut it off well that is really thick on there cut the glue out of the the hole where the pull that out pair of, whoop, pair of tweezers at least that's pretty clean scraping the, the glue off again it's coming off to also make a damn mess of everything yeah nearly gone a little bit there left yet and a little bit down the base there seriously tough glue they got on it i'll run over that with, with our 600 mesh paper and smooth it down a bit well that looks all right okay so there's our bits the top and the bottom i'll continue to take a little bit more of that off offline it'll be easier to do if i can move the camera out of the road and i can actually see what i'm doing all right i'll get that finished and then we'll look at setting up the new paper for the bellows if you want to learn how to service repair and restore 19th and 20th century mechanical clocks then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell